So welcome to the gym. Uh, this is our Bowflex Ultimate. I bought it used on Facebook Marketplace. And before winter hits, I have two little budget things I want to do to fix it up a little bit. One, I'm going to replace the base, the rod base. And two, I'm going to replace my homemade cables with some real steel cables. Now on this Bowflex, when I bought it used, these were missing. I have all of the others just the lat pull-down ones, and I think these are 56 inches each. When I looked online to buy new ones, they were $25 to $35, depending on new or used. And when I looked at their construction, I decided I made my own with nylon. I'm sure I could make my own with steel cable, vinyl-coated steel cable. It's got to exist out there as a product, and sure enough, it does. Uh, in regards to the base, I read a tip online that said to get more life out of your rods, loosen them up in the base and turn them around. So I actually did that. I actually turned all of them around, but most of them have since turned back towards the weaker side. The reason for that is in my base, when I looked, flashlight, the little tabs down there that are supposed to hold them in their orientation are worn away, broken. I don't know if they're rusted. I thought it was plastic, but they're shot, so they don't work. <laughs> So the new base has fresh new tabs, and I'm going to put that in, turn the rods around, and give it a freshen up. So overall, I'm going to try to make new cables and put in the new base, and I think we'll be all good for the winter. Bowflex doesn't sell this stuff anymore. They've uh, trimmed up their inventory substantially. It seems to me they want you to buy a new one rather than fix your old one. However, I got a brand new block. It's got perfect tabs in the bottom, and I can't wait to put this back in. This is pretty easy. On the bottom, it's just some threaded screw heads, Phillips heads, and uh, you move each rod, put it in. This slides in and has three screws that holds it in place on the bottom. Real simple upgrade. And then this is cool. I found wire, steel, vinyl wire, ever built at Home Depot. This was $7 for this kit. I got um, 1 8 by 30 feet of cable. It came with thimbles, wire thimbles. This is where the wire wraps around. It protects the wire from heavy pull on the end. And then it also came with clamps. So it's got one, two, three, four, five, six clamps, two thimbles. And I think for two bucks, I picked up another two thimbles. So this gives me my complete set. Now, my task tonight is to use my sawzall, or you can use a hacksaw to cut this to length. This should be pretty easy, but you never know. This is a sawzall. Again, you can use a hacksaw, it will work, but this will be much faster. Now what's gonna be different about this is I'm gonna go around this piece. So I need some extra length here. And then the clamp goes here. It goes, it goes between both pieces. And then you clamp it down nice and tight so it can't come loose and it can't come off. And then this thing will attach there. That's pretty cool, huh? Nice and clean, a little better than rope. So I need from here to the other end, I believe, 56 inches. So I'm gonna measure this loop distance, I think, roughly. So roughly eight inches extra in length for the loop, and that'll give me a little hanging loose that I can always trim back. Fifty-eight inches right here. So I did eyelet to eyelet about fifty-eight inches, and I'm gonna, and then I looped it around the other eyelet. And I'm gonna cut right here. All right, clamp number one, I'm just gonna take the bolts off. Or just loosen it. See that? Thimble and clamp. Finger tighten it and then I'll use a tool on it. And on this side, I think I'm gonna have to fish it through the pulley first and then do this loop. 11 millimeter seems to work. Let's go in the other room and put the other side on. So I'm gonna put this on and attach it down here first. 
ones at the bottom. And now we're gonna loop around this pulley. Got some tension there, it seems okay. So far, so good. Boy, that seems like the right length. All right, I'm gonna take the tension off it. The length seems good. 65 inches. That's how long I cut the cable. All right, now I'm gonna loop it around, put the clamp on. Whew. All right, loop it around on itself. Drag it down tight, put my thimble in. Slide it down. Oh, this is so cool. That's pretty good. I don't want to get too close to the end. I'm going to tighten it right there. All right. Oh, I like the way that feels. That has proper tension on it. My ropes were always a little bit too long, and so there's play, and it doesn't grab till you get down to here. And I've never liked that. It didn't give me full extension. This gives me full extension, and it feels smooth as can be. All right, I'm gonna do the next one, and I'll be right back. So the other thimbles are a little more narrow. However, with a little pressure, they sink in. So I think after a few pulls, it'll sink in just fine. They are eighth inch, but I don't think they compensate for the vinyl coating. Hopefully the uh, two cables when I'm done are the same length. That looks about equal, doesn't it? All right, this is the test. Oh, it feels good. <laughs> All right, cable replacement was a wild success. I'm gonna start on the block now. And I'm probably gonna narrate because my son's next door with a friend playing video games and it's really loud. All right, there's just three little screws under here that hold the whole block in. It'll slide out and then I can take each and every one of these rods out and put them in the new one. Three. All these little screws have to come out and then I can pull each rod out and put them back in the other one. I'm gonna go in the other room to do that where there's more room and uh, better light. The bottom of the new one, this diameter is smaller, but the rods look like they will fit in this hole. I'm gonna give it a try. Maybe this is like a uh, Chinese knockoff. It's not the original Bowflex piece. Hopefully it works. They fit. Awesome. All right, now I'm gonna put them back in so they're arced inward, and then I'll be trying to bend them this way. That should work, right? It's gonna be ugly. They're all gonna be crisscrossed for a little while until they bend that way. Hopefully this works. Let's see what happens. They're in the groove. <laughs> what a mess. Let's go. So the original screws are too small. They just spin. Well, it's good to know these won't work. And obviously this is not an official Bowflex part. This must be a knockoff of some kind. All right, I found three fatter screws and I stole the washers off the old ones and they fit. These should do the trick. Oh yeah, <laughs> that was the right size. All right, that's in. I'm gonna give it a test. Oh. 
All right, so more than anything else, that is smoother than it's ever been. I'm so glad I did this cable fix. Uh, the new base allowed me to put the rods in reverse. And before this, I've got two rods on each side, two 50s. And it's stronger than it was with all of the rods attached on both sides. I was doing sets of 20 and 30, and now it looks like I could do sets of 10, which is really what I was trying to accomplish. So 25 bucks for the new base, seven dollars for new cables <laughs> great upgrade and uh, this gives this bowflex ultimate a whole lot of new life so i hope we can use it for many years to come and uh, hopefully those rods uh continue to last and if and if they flex the other way then i'll reverse them again but hey thanks for watching god bless you take care and i will see you next video